in my last video we learned about representative binding with group by in this video we will learn about group key binding with group by let's get started in the group key binding what we will do instead of declaring the same instead of using the same fill symbol what we are using here we will declare the separate grouping variable so how we will do so after this we have to use assigning fill symbol and we will assign we will create a group lt underscore group is a internal table as a field symbol this table will contain now group data this data for each group will contain in this table so as soon as we declare group key the we will get this error this is an this is not bound so now instead of using ls vba k we have to use control c control v we have to use separate group key this is called group key binding so previously we didn't declare any group key that is the reason it will it called representative binding we don't have any group key and in, uh, we, we instead of we are re, uh, representing another work area and we are using the ls underscore vbak itself as a uh, group uh, as a group key and we have the data in we were having data inside the ls underscore and ls underscore vbak itself so let me execute let me clear, clear out the console let control f3 I'll do the f9 so uh, as soon as we do the f9 you can see the data with this group combinations the same data whatever we have seen previously there is no difference so since we have declared the group explicitly it is got it is called the group key binding so there is one more thing we can do that's very interesting uh, instead of using loop i can use here for loop as well how i can do i, I have to construct the lt underscore vbak Obviously, I have to construct, construct the lt underscore vbak. Uh, I will use the value operator and since the type is known, again I will do. But inside this, I will use 4. So 4, uh, control C, ls group. Uh, let me comment it out. I don't want to use this for loop. I want to use uh, this loop. I want to use for loop for ls group in which table? This table. And what data I want? I want entire this group. Control C, Control V. Oh, LT group. In LT group, there is something wrong. In group, I have to use in group. So since we are using internal, this is not for loop. Uh, for loop along with the group, we I want to use. I have to use in group. Then only it will work. This time also we'll be get, we will be getting the same result, but instead of looping inside uh, we, inside the loop uh, loop eight group, I have used four with in group. So that is also we can do. That is a shorter way instead of looping this thing. Step F one. Let me do Control F three. Uh, clear out the console. Let me do F nine. So same data, whatever we got previously, same data we will get. So just we used, instead of loop 8 group, we have used 4 with in group. We will see uh, one more variant of group Y. Uh, in this case, what we are doing, we are displaying, we are using the entire data, VBLN, VKORZ and VK group. If there are some other fields also, we are using entire data to display in the output. But sometime, uh, we only need the key fields we don't need other data so <coughs> that, sorry so we have another variant for that uh, so what we can do we can use without members so when we use without members in that case we can access inside this part of the program uh, in, inside this loop part of the program we can access only the key fields we will we can't access the other members but it will be faster than the previous one so, uh, so let me comment it out since we are not using control shift less than control shift less than 
and I, I if I want to access if you see this group data and I, if I do control space I can access only two data now VK group and VK RJ I can't access the VBLN but I, I want to print, print both so I can pass directly this LT group and for each group each combination will be displayed now only so in this case we will be not having access to the other member of the that internal table only the group which is a group created with the key fields only those key field access we will be having so advantage it will be faster and this we will we can't do without with with the representing bind with representative binding we can do only with the group key binding since we have used the group key binding that is the reason i am able to add the without members uh, what is the error over here let me do yeah, control f3 lt group what is the error what it is saying right lt group is invalid why now it is correct control f3 clear out the console let me do f9 so now you can see we can see only the key fields we can't see other fields as well, other field at all or we can't access other field when we are using the without member but the advantage is this it is faster than other than there is another variant where we can count the how many entries with this combination how many entries with this combination and how many entries with this combination how to get those data so for that we have to create another uh, variable in group by that will be uh, first will be the count and this will be equal to group count we have to use group count not group index group count group size i think so group size so we can use the so it will give the count of that particular so i have to declare this in our internal table to see the data count type i let me do save tap one control f3 so this is one more important thing this also we can use when we are using only the group key with the representative binding we can't do this thing so let me do f8 Control F3, F9, sorry. Uh, let me clear out the console. F9. So you can see with this combination, we have 716 entries. With this combination, we have 126 entries. And with this combination, we have 7. And there is a list number of entries with this combination. Like that, we can see the how many entries in this group exist. The, with this combination, the group will be created. In that group will be the 716 entries and still i can use without member because i am not accessing the uh, fields inside the other fields apart from that i can do one more thing uh, using i can declare one index variable on, on which point it is starting uh, that particular group so let me use the index as well is you so index equal to group index it is called group index and I have to declare an, again one more variable index type i shift f1 control f3 so along with the count now we will see the index where it is starting from let me clear out the console and do the f9 so you can see this is the first this is second third this is third group this is fourth group this is fifth group sixth group seventh group and eighth group eighth group is blank blank so if i i can use up ascending and descending also uh, with the group by if i want in i want to display the based on the vk rg and vk group i want to do the ascending and descending things so let me do the descending i want to display the this combination vk rg and vk group combination in the descending order so in this case i can use like this control f3 by default the index number will be the like this if i will use ascending and descending and uh, then i will do the f9 uh, let me clear out the console let me do f9 so you can see the index number got interchanged because now we have used descending so you can see vv come at last of the uh, sorting so it is coming like this combination come first and at last we have blank blank entries so like that the this is the another variant of the group by can we replace this loop as well with for yes we can do it will become a bit complicated but let me show you how we can do uh, let me comment it out this one 
uh, and what I will do, I will you I will declare one data reference variable data lr underscore out which will be used for the displaying output type ref to cl underscore no this would be if underscore demo output demo underscore control space output is something there yes it is there mm. so this is a type so this i will create from one reduce operator and uh, uh, finally what i will do i will display the values of this one like this it shows we display i will not pass anything any more but i will display okay like this so to prepare this value control c i will use the reduce operator so so as you know in the reduce operator we construct the values so for each iteration i will write it down uh, for each group values and finally i will i will put display using this display for each iteration i will write it down so reduce since the non this lr out type is known i use this has operator over here and as you know from the reduce operator video video we have to use in it this type whatever the first variable we are declare, declaring here it should be compatible compatible with the lr out so in this case i have to declare lr underscore this uh, this should be come from cl underscore demo demo underscore output uh, something new call we are having new new and we have to do like this so this new method we are calling and we are getting the initial value of this cl demo output and we will in using this reference variable we will write it down all the all these combinations uh, all the values for particular group so for using group by uh, for with group by so what i have to use so i have to use for group groups i have to use groups and then i have to create generate groups this is the same group what we are using so, so control c how i will generate groups of where how to generate i have to look through this table then only i will generate so again i will use same thing this is control c control v into uh, so in for in lt underscore vb okay so this is the syntax we have to remember we have to create this group uh, we have to loop through in this work area and we have to loop loop this table in this work area and we have to create this group like this same syntax again then after that we have to use group by and the same group by we can do here control c control v control shift greater than and this is the group by i want to group by based on the vk org and vk group after the doing group by i loop to as you know already in reduce operator we need one iteration i did one iterations so i want to generate one internal table for each group so i have to declare one let variable over here so this is let also along with the reduce so in this let variable i what i will do i will generate this table control c but this na name should be different because it is in same name space and this type is not known i have to declare one type as well let me declare tt underscore vbak vbak type table of table of ty underscore vbak so this is the type i want to use control c i want to construct this table using this type this should be type of this table and i want to get the values from this group I want to loop through this group then only I will get so this is the basically same for loop which we are using over here so we have to use for loop in this ls group this for work area and in this table control v but in along with in we have to use this time group as well because we are using group by in group control space g g g r group in group okay and this will return us one value which we have to uh, in this case we have to consider this work area itself control c 
and control V this work area we have to pass in this one for each iteration we have to pass in this internal table I think that's it uh, we have locked to, uh, as you know from the let expression video so you know all the things together here to construct to do these things we have to use let expression along with in only whatever we have declared this variable after in I can use so uh, from reduce so for each iteration as you know from the reduce operator video we have how to use next equal to uh, so I have to use next operator and left hand side I have to use this one control V equal to uh, this should be control V I have to call this time right method uh, WRIT right right method what I need to write each for each iteration I want to write out this table I think that's it done tt underscore vbak okay one more thing important thing we have to use with default key or with some key we have to decode with default key or empty key whatever you want to do but it should be with some key then only we can use and lr out display I have to do one more thing so except f1 so whatever this thing is doing when we we executed before doing this without member whatever the result will come with same result will come with all the member all the groups will be displayed now let me do control f3 let me clear out the console let me do f9 boom so we got all the results control and so you can see all for for each and every group we are getting the all the group data here over here can we use without member what we can do uh, we have to comment it we don't need this table now because we don't don't want to display everything we just control we don't need all the members so control shift less than since we are not displaying so we can use directly group over here control v and we can use without member Control F3. Let me clear out the console. Let me do F9. So you can see the result like that. VKRG is like how we were getting in here. Can we get the count and index as well? Obviously we can get. Let me copy it out. Control C. Enter. Control V. Control Shift greater than. And Shift F1. We already declared this count and index before so it will be available let me do control f3 and without member still we are using we don't need other member we are using only these four member let me do f9 let so you can see the result so we have the count as well and index as well so whatever we can do with the loop this loop we can do with this uh, this as well and the same result we are getting but it's a bit complicated but smaller form but I will always do not like this I will always loop through this one and I, inside this I am not looping loop at group by I, I can use this uh, for loop but I always use this kind of because, because it will it, this is this become a bit complicated and uh, uh, sometimes the syntax is very difficult or especially this line I hope you learn something new from this video before moving to next video, please like this video and subscribe this channel. I will try to create one more video on the group by where we will explain the real time use of the group by we are using in the project. Thank you and happy learning.